Steel bends, granite cracks, and even the strongest metals have a limit. And when that limit is reached, these metals don't just fail, they snap and break. That's what hydraulic machines can do. The pressure they put on materials isn't measured in effort, it's measured in tons. These machines aren't just used for a gentle push, they're just for crushing, and the only language they speak is called brute force. A hydraulic press is one of these machines that doesn't flinch. It takes solid rock and turns it into scrap. The sole reason for this machine's existence is to break what should not be breakable. They can be used in factories, shipyards, and other areas where heavy-duty power is needed. It's fascinating to think about what a hydraulic system can do, but have you ever thought about what happens when these machines are pushed too far? Because hydraulic systems are always under tension. Thousands of PSI run through lines and cylinders every second. If one seal fails, if one hose bursts, it can turn into a high-speed disaster. Hydraulic fluid under pressure can slice skin, a cylinder failure can send shrapnel flying across a workshop, and no warning light is going to save you when it happens. In this video, we're diving into the most powerful press machines on Earth, so let's get started. Not all hydraulic presses are created equal. Some are built to bend metal sheets, and others, well, they are engineered to rewrite the laws of physics. Take the 80,000 ton forging press in China, one of the most powerful hydraulic machines ever built. This monster stands tall as a 10 story building and exerts a force so massive it can shape entire aircraft components out of solid titanium. It doesn't tap or twist, it demands metal to yield and metal has to listen. Then, in the United States, there is a 50,000 ton press built during the Cold War under a project called the Heavy Press Program. The behemoth was tasked with forging the backbone of America's aerospace dominance, massive parts for jet engines, nuclear submarines, and rockets. Every thundering cycle of this machine isn't just a test of force, it is a performance of industrial domination. Now, imagine something even more specialized. Compact, high-speed hydraulic presses used in industrial labs. They're not large, but the pressure they apply reaches 50,000 PSI or more, enough to simulate deep earth conditions or crush diamonds, and yes, I said diamonds. Some presses don't even look like monsters until you see what they can do. These machines don't ask, well, can this be crushed? They ask, how fast can we turn it into dust? We've all seen the viral videos of gearboxes imploding, bowling balls collapsing like soda cans, and titanium blocks snapping in half. But these aren't just for show. They are a demonstration of the raw, unfiltered power that hydraulic presses bring to the table. It's not just what gets crushed, it's how. The slow buildup of pressure, the quiet groan before failure, and then total destruction. Picture a granite block formed over millions of years, forged by tectonic pressure and a press that obliterates it in seconds. Or a stack of coins perfectly aligned turned into a molten pancake. Crushing material is more than destruction. It's about showcasing the limits of physics. Steel, rock, rubber, even Kevlar, the material used in bulletproof vests, nothing is immune. Everything has a breaking point. Hydraulic presses simply find it faster. Some of the wildest tests of hydraulic presses include bullet-resistant glass shattering like sugar and industrial ball bearings turning into liquid metal friction. But here's the kicker. It never looks like the press is even trying. The hydraulic system does the heavy lifting invisibly. Inside, hydraulic fluid gets pressurized by a pump and transferred through thick steel lines. That fluid can generate a force that rivals the crushing weight of skyscrapers, and it does so silently, effortlessly. There's no growl, no roar, just a low hiss and the sudden collapse of matter. So when you see a motorcycle engine block crumble under a press or a full car transmission reduced to confetti, remember this isn't movie magic, it's a mechanical truth. Hydraulic presses don't bluff, they don't hesitate, they only crush. Hydraulic presses are machines of precision. They're engineered down to the micron, calibrated to handle pressure that could shatter buildings. But with that kind of power comes risk. 
not just potential, but imminent danger when things go wrong. At the heart of every hydraulic press is a sealed system. Cylinders, hoses, valves, and pistons working together to control fluid under pressure. But here's the thing. Hydraulic systems don't give second chances. The fluid inside these machines can reach pressures of 30,000 PSI or more. That's enough force to punch through solid steel, enough energy to turn a small leak into a deadly projectile. A single pinhole in a high pressure line can eject fluid at speeds faster than a bullet. It's called hydraulic injection injury, and it doesn't look dramatic at first, just a small puncture wound. But inside, that high pressure fluid tears through muscle and tissue like acid. It can cause nerve damage, permanent loss of function, and even amputation. And the worst part is it's nearly painless at first. By the time you feel it, the damage is already done. Then there's cylinder failure. These massive steel pistons are designed to handle extreme compression, but over time, metal fatigue can build up. If a cylinder cracks or fails under load, the result is often violent. We're talking about multi-ton parts launching across a workspace at deadly speed. Entire machines have been destroyed by the sudden rupture of a single component under pressure. In some cases, operators didn't walk away. Seals can blow, valves can jam, hoses can split without warning, and when they do, all that contained power, tons of it, gets released in a fraction of a second. The danger isn't always visible. Sometimes it's hidden in the way pressure accumulates. Operators who misjudge the load or overpressure a chamber can unintentionally create catastrophic stress inside the material. And when the material fails, it doesn't just break, it explodes. Even the hydraulic fluid itself is dangerous. Many systems use flammable petroleum-based liquids and under the right conditions, a leak near a hot surface can ignite. In industrial settings, that turns a malfunction into a full-blown fire hazard. Pressurized oil, flames, and heavy machinery, they're a deadly cocktail that no one wants to mix. Safety systems are in place, including pressure relief valves, emergency shutoffs, and shielding, but they don't make these machines safe. They just make them less dangerous. At the end of the day, a hydraulic press is a giant fist powered by liquid force. It doesn't think or hesitate for that matter. And if you're standing in the wrong place at the wrong time, you won't get a second chance. These machines are miracles of engineering, but they're also unforgiving. They're the quiet titans of industry. You won't hear them scream and you won't see them rush. They just descend slowly, steadily, and then impact. Without hydraulic presses, we wouldn't have aircraft wings, automobile parts, building reinforcements, or countless other essentials. They forge the skeletons of our modern world. With every ton of force they apply, they're building the future and risking the present. So next time you watch a hydraulic press crush a titanium block like a soda can, or destroy a machine made to last decades, remember that this is not magic, nor is it a stunt. This is mechanical dominance, and behind every satisfying crunch and collapse, there's a system under pressure, a story of engineering precision, and a reminder that even the strongest things break when pushed too far.